What's up guys, welcome back. So this video is going to be doing predictions for games going on Wednesday, January 30th. Like I said, I'm going to be doing this new format where I pick an upset pick, uh, my sure pick or team I have most confidence in, and then my game of the night. <clears throat> so I'll be looking for that in all of these new videos. I'm going to go ahead and start with my upset pick of the night. My upset pick of the night is Providence over Seton Hall. Seton Hall is favored by four and a half. Uh, both these teams are all right in the Big East, middle of the pack. Providence is three and four. Seton's, Seton Hall is three and five. Seton Hall has lost four in a row now. I think uh, Providence can match up well with them, especially Diallo against Paolo, or Powell of uh, Seton Hall. Diallo of Providence is a big, lanky defender. Uh, also scores the ball well, rebounds really well. Um, and I think Providence can win that rebounding battle versus a, a weak rebounding team in Seton Hall. Uh, so I like Providence in this one. It's going to be a tough one on the road for them. But I think uh, they win their third straight and get to 500 uh, in Big East play. And then my sure pick of the night, West Virginia at number 20, Iowa State. Uh, Iowa State's at home. Uh, I like them over West Virginia. West Virginia struggles on the road, um, especially in the Big 12. They have not won on the road in the Big 12 yet. Iowa State's a good team. Uh, got a big road win over Ole Miss uh, in the SEC Big 12 Challenge. Uh, lost at Kansas before that. Uh, won at Texas Tech before that. So they got a lot going for them. Uh, despite that loss to Kansas, which was by four, they had a chance to win that game. Uh, so I like the way Iowa State's playing. Mario Shayok, Lindell Wigginton in the backcourt for them. Obviously, Shayok is their big-time scorer, averaging almost 20 points per game. And I just don't think West Virginia... Uh, has a scoring ability, especially uh, going against uh, the Cyclones on the road. Uh, I like Iowa State in this one. Uh, that's why they're my sure pick. Favorite by 12 and a half. I think uh, the final score, I think uh, Iowa State will be up by 12 and a half at the end of that game. Next one we got uh, for my game of the night is number 10, Marquette at Butler. Uh, this is going to be a good one. <clears throat> Butler is actually favored. Uh, I disagree. I think Marquette's going to go on the road and get a win. Uh, they're going to have to keep uh, McDermott and Tucker from having big games for Butler because when those guys shoot well from three, they're hard to beat. I think they can do a good job of that. Marcus Howard, I think he's going to have another uh, stellar performance. They've won seven in a row. The Hauser brothers have been playing great. Uh, they got a lot of confidence rolling right now. Butler's lost two in a row. Um, <clears throat> just lost at Creighton and at home versus Villanova. I just don't think they got enough going for them. Marquette's the better offensive team. Uh, they match up pretty well defensively, uh, but their rebounding battle. Uh, Marquette is a much better rebounding team than Butler. Butler's going to have to find a way to keep them off the offensive glass. Uh, I don't know. I don't think they can. Uh, so I like Marquette in this game uh, to go on the road against Butler. But like I said, it's going to be a really fun one, really close game, I think. And it's going to come down to the last couple of minutes there. <clears throat> Next game we got, we have Ole Miss at Florida. A tough one to pick here is Ole Miss is just so inconsistent. They have lost three of the last four. Um, you just never know with them. They got Tyree and Davis in the backcourt for them. I haven't been super impressed with them. Uh, they shoot really well from the field, however. Uh, so I like them to go on the road against Florida. I think they get it together a little bit uh, with that backcourt of theirs, like I said. Uh, Kevon Allen's going to be tough to beat at home, though. Uh, Florida senior point guard. Um, he's super built. Uh, averages almost 13 points per game. Uh, shooting the ball a little bit better. Um, but I still like Ole Miss in this game. Ole Miss, like I said, is the better offensive team. Much more efficient. Um, so I like them to go on the road and win over Florida. Uh, but it's going to be a tough game. Uh, they're going to have to bring their all. Uh, so look for that one to be a fun one as well. Next one we got, number 12, Virginia Tech at Miami. Uh, Virginia Tech's 5-2 and two in the ACC, while Miami's 1-6. They're having a tough year. Miami's always a difficult place to play, um, but I still like Virginia Tech in this one. I like their uh, their offensive uh, backcourt as well, like I said, uh, all year. Alexander Walker and Justin Robinson. Uh, Robinson's the addition man, averaging almost six assists per game. Alexander Walker averaging almost 18 points per game. They got Blackshear on the glass for them. 
uh, scores a lot of points in the paint. Um, I like the way Virginia Tech uh, has played uh, against some of these weaker ACC teams. We've only seen them really struggle against some of the top teams in the ACC. They seem to always get the job done against lower level teams. Um, beat Wake by 16. Um, they managed to get a win over Georgia Tech uh, on the road. So I like Miami. In the, I mean, I like Virginia Tech in this game uh, to beat a weaker Miami team um, just because of their backcourt and their ability to rebound the ball. Next game we got, we have Indiana at Rutgers. This is, I don't know what to think of this Indiana team. Uh, Romeo Langford has not been that impressive. Um, especially as of late, uh, Indiana has lost six straight games now uh, to improve to three and six in um, the Big Ten. Rutgers is three and six as well, have won two in a row now. <clears throat> I still like Indiana in this game. I think we'll see Juwan Morgan have a big game. Uh, Romeo Langford, I think, against some of these weaker guards in Rutgers. Uh, we'll see him have a big game. Uh, those two guys, I'm sure, are tired of losing. I don't know how they couldn't be. Um, so I like those guys to go on the road and have a big game and get the win over Rutgers. Next game we got Villanova at DePaul. Villanova, I think, is the hottest team in college basketball right now. I've won eight in a row, 7-0 uh, and in the Big East. They're favored by 6.5 at DePaul. Um, DePaul's a scary team to play at home, though, especially with Max Struess, who shoots the ball extremely well from three at home. Y'all, He's a big-time shooter for them. Um, averages over 40% from uh, three-point range. Uh, they also got big guards in Eli Kane, uh, who could do some damage against Phil Booth. Uh, Phil Booth is going to have a tough matchup with him. Uh, however, I still do like Villanova in this game. Eric Pascal has been playing too well. Phil Booth has been playing well. Um, this Villanova team has been very impressive, especially on the road. Uh, they've had some, a couple big road wins, including wins at Butler, at Creighton. Uh, this team knows how to win on the road, but Gillespie is going to be the key for Villanova. Is he, if he is hitting shots, um, I think they can uh, knock off DePaul on the road here. Uh, so look for that one to be a great game as well. Going to be a tough test for Villanova, but I like them uh, to get to 8-0 and in uh, Big East play. Next one we got, number 15, Louisville at Wake Forest. Louisville, a very hot team as well, has won five, have won five in a row now. Um, they're going against Wake Forest, who's one and six in um, the ACC. I've lost three in a row now. Uh, Louisville, they just got too much going for them. A much better uh, offensive team than Wake Forest and a much better defensive team. Uh, Cunningham and Moore are the keys for Louisville. Moore has been shooting lights out. He's averaging over, over 18 points per game, almost eight rebounds. Uh, Cunningham is the key to that offense, though, averaging four and a half assists per game. And Louisville is a good defensive team, like I said. Uh, they put a lot of pressure uh, in the half court, make it tough on teams. Uh, so I like Louisville in this game. Uh, I got they going in the right direction here. Chris Max got them going uh, in a great direction after a tough start, like I said. Uh, but I like Louisville to continue that confidence, keep it rolling, and get the win over Wake Forest. Next game we got. Syracuse at Boston College. Syracuse is favored by three. Uh, yeah, I think it's going to be that close of a game. It's going to be a tough uh, road test here for Syracuse. Boston College is not uh, a walk in the park, as we've seen. Uh, they beat Florida State at home by five. Syracuse is going to have to bring their A game. I like them, too. Um, they're coming off a loss at Virginia Tech. Bad loss. Uh, lost by 22. Um I think we'll see him bounce back. Tyus Battle's going to have to keep, uh, keep it going. He's been shooting the ball well, playing well. Uh, Brissett and Hughes are the, key, uh, are the key for Syracuse, however, uh, along with Frank Howard. Those guys are going to have to step up. I think all three of them have to score in double digits if the Syracuse uh, has a chance of winning. Um, so I think uh, they will. Uh, we've seen Hughes especially shoot the ball well recently. Uh, him and Tyus Battle have been leading the team. So I like Syracuse to go on the road, uh, but Boston College can get hot at any time. Struggling to shoot the ball this year, like I've said, but uh, Kai Bowman uh, shot the ball great last year, year before, uh, so he could go off at any time. He's back at home, 
So they're going to have to find a way to defend him. I think that zone is going to be uh, a little too much for Boston College. So I like Syracuse to go on the road and uh, get that win. Next game we got St. John's at Creighton. Uh, an interesting one here. Creighton is favored by four and a half. I think St. John's actually wins this game. Uh, two great offensive teams, uh, both average around 83 points per game. St. John's is a better defensive team, uh, not as efficient from the offensive side, but it's going to be a great matchup in Shamari Pons versus Tyshawn Alexander. Pons of St. John's averaging almost 21 points per game. Uh, Tyshawn Alexander averaging 17.5 points per game. Uh, that's going to be the matchup to watch. I just like St. John's. Uh, just because of their uh, athletic ability uh, and the way they got so many different guards who can do things in Figaro, Heron. Um, I just like the way uh, they can uh, spread the floor and hit shots. Coming off a tough loss versus Georgetown, uh, got down early. I like St. John's to bounce back against Creighton uh, and get the win uh, on the road there. And if they did, they would go to 4-5 and five, uh, in the Big East, which is a must for them as they're at their bottom or lower bottom of the Big East right now. Next game we got, number 19, LSU at Texas A&M. LSU also a very uh, hot team right now. I've won nine in a row. This is not going to be uh, too tough of a game for them, I think. Texas A&M um, did just beat Kansas State at home, however. Um, but I think uh, LSU is just too good of an offensive team uh, for Texas A&M. They're not going to be able to hang with them. Kamont Waters is that leader of that team, averaging over 14 points per game. Uh, it's going to come down to the rebounding battle, though, like I said, uh, in some of these other games as well. Uh, rebounding is such a big part of the game, getting extra possessions. Uh, but I like LSU to go on the road and get the win over Texas A&M. Uh, and improve to 7-0 and in the SEC. Final game we got, we have Illinois at Minnesota. Illinois absolutely destroyed uh, Minnesota uh, a couple weeks ago. I beat them 95-68. to uh, Different story tonight, though. Minnesota's back at home. I like it to be the other way around. I think Minnesota's going to get a double-digit win over Illinois. Illinois just... Uh, beat Maryland, um, but I don't think they can do it against uh, Minnesota again. Uh, Patino, he's going to have a new game plan for them. Uh, Amir Coffey and Jordan Murphy looking for revenge in Minnesota. Two best players there. So I like Minnesota uh, to get their revenge win over Illinois. I expect it to be a double-digit uh, win, uh, but we'll see. Uh, it sh should be interesting to see who gets off to the better start, uh, which could dictate the rest of the game. All right, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I uh, appreciate it. Um, like this video, comment down below, and also subscribe. Uh, also check out my uh, Twitter, Hilly Hoops, and uh, thanks for watching.